Hi friends, Brenda here from the Pop-Up Homestead. We have lots of things popping up here on the homestead. Sean has a project he's been working on. I'm sure he'll be telling you about that in a few minutes. But I actually wanted to show you the um, food forest. Uh, last update on the food forest, we moved it. So it's actually in a different location now and uh, we've been making some changes. So let me give you a, let me give you a little tour. There's our raised garden bed in the background. It's not 100% yet, but it's getting there. Okay, so here I am in our food forest, backed up by the woods. So it's far from complete, um, but if you remember, if you've been following our videos, you'll see that um, our food forest used to be out closer to the dirt road, and they put a second road in. So because of that, they had to um, they had to uh, move all of our trees. So this is where we ended up putting it, and let me show you. So these are our neighbor's shipping containers. So we have our two peach trees, which are, which are really nice. They're starting to flower. We also have apple trees here and here. And then we have uh, four apple trees, two pear trees, two peach trees, four blueberry bushes. And uh, Sean is actually I'm a little distracted because he is, uh, he's putting up gutters. So the, we're going to have uh, gutters on the chicken coop and it's going to go into that blue barrel and it's going to catch rainwater. And we're going to put little waterers on the bottom of the blue barrel so the chickens will be self-watering. But um, he's having a problem with the rooster because it keeps attacking him. He's holding the rooster upside down, <laughs> having a little talk with them. He's not happy with them at all. So, anyhow, so we have um, we have the trees here. We're still in the process of putting down the cardboard. So this whole area is going to be cardboard and um, grass clippings and leaves, and we'll be cutting back uh, some of the shrubby brush brush here. But above us is all huge um, oak trees. So we couldn't ask for better, more beautiful acorns. So we already are getting a ton of acorns. I don't know if you can see any of them. Eh, you may not be able to. Um, but I also want to show you, we just got a ton, new ton of new trees and shrubs. Basically, it'll be the understory of the food forest. So I'll be putting those in. I potted them up for right now. So let me take you over there and show you the baby, baby plant nursery. So that's the rooster that was giving Sean a hard time a minute ago. His name is Phoenix. That's his breed. He's just being a little brat. You see the chickens are out. They're all over there. I don't know if you can see them underneath the pine tree. They're taking a dust bath. But so here's a shot from the distance. Let me see if I can zoom in a little for you. It's too much. So that's where we were just at. That's going to be the food forest there. And then we're leaving this area where that dead tree is at as an opening so if we need to pull in and get dirt mulch or something dropped off we have like a little runway coming through there so what i worked on yesterday what i was working on yesterday was all these trees that we just picked up from the tennessee uh tree council so we have so many it's awesome so these are all pawpaws and then we have pecans, shagbark hickory, mulberry. Um, over here I have some wild plums, more mulberries. And uh, I think these are, yeah, these are pecans also. So that's a pecan tree also. So because they are so small, I, uh, I decided to put them in a pot. Um, that way we can kind of keep an eye on them as they're growing. I don't have to worry about deer coming up and eating them over there in the food forest. And uh, I'll eventually relocate them, but we're not exactly sure where we want them to go just yet. So we got all this cardboard that we've been accumulating that we're going to spread over in the food forest. Um, but it just had to get moved quickly while they were building the road. So, 
This, this rooster is really giving him a hard time, kind of stalking him around. Oh, I personally, uh, I personally carry protection devices with me when I go places because the rooster tends to a uh, hard time as well and I don't like it. So that's a little update on our food forest. And uh, this is Brenda again, check, checking in from the pop-up homestead. And we're working on our food forest. Wow, oh, he's so obnoxious. Him, he's right here. Uh, just uh, checking in, giving you an update on the food forest, giving you an update on our raised beds. We're gonna have a few more and then... Uh... Oh, isn't that fun? In case no one's ever heard a rooster crow. That's what it sounds like. So, now you know. Move along. Move along, buddy. See, that's another little rooster in the back. He's a Rhode Island Red. So, yeah, they're just out enjoying the nice day. Mainly because he's working over there. So, I'm sure Sean will pop in at some point and say hi and tell you what he's working on. Alright. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.